Hello, my name is Bill Corbett with KTA Tater Incorporated, and today I'm discussing uh, with Matt Fight, our instrument sales and service manager, how to select dry film thickness gauges. Now, measurement of dry film thickness in the shop or the field is relatively easy to do. However, selection of what gauge to use can be quite challenging. So Matt's going to fill us in a little bit on the technology that's available for measuring dry film thickness. That's right, Bill. Uh, technology in coating thickness measurement has evolved greatly over the last decade or so. Uh, so even for a seasoned professional, uh, gauge selection has become quite complex. So I think that this will, we won't cover every single topic, but this will give a good fundamental uh, foundation here. Okay. Well, let's say, for example, that I've got a project and it's a three coat system, you know, zinc rich primer, maybe an epoxy mid coat and a urethane finish coat, right. maybe totaling about 20 mils or so. Uh, what are my options for coating thickness measurement for a system like that? You know, there are many options from many different manufacturers. Uh, you can get as simple as standard models that you can take your readings and store a limited amount of data, or you can get as fancy as uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, Bluetooth, uh, cloud-based reporting. So we'll go over a few of those items here. Alcometer 456 Integral Probe Model B Scale 1 Ferrous Metals Non-Magnetic Coatings 0 to 60 mils, 0 to 1500 microns. Accurate, plus or minus 1%. Limited memory. Alcometer 456 Integral Probe Model T, scale one. Ferrous metals, non-magnetic coatings, zero to 60 mils, zero to 1500 microns. Accurate, plus or minus 1%. Bluetooth compatible. Memory, 2500 batches, 150,000 readings. And it does have software for cell phones for data reporting. Defelsco Positector 6000. Standard memory, F1. Ferrous metal, non-magnetic coatings, 0 to 60 mils, 0 to 1500 microns. Accurate to plus or minus 1%. Limited memory, 250 readings per probe. Download via USB. Defelsco Positector 6000, advanced memory, F3. Ferrous metals, non-magnetic coatings, 0 to 60 mils, 0 to 1500 microns, accurate to plus or minus 1%, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi technology, memory 1000 batches, 100,000 readings. Does have software for cell phones as well. So there is a way I guess that I can take data from the gauge and actually transfer it over to a tablet or an iPad even. Most definitely there is. Okay. All right. Let's say, for example, I need to measure coating thickness on both steel and aluminum, uh, and you know, aluminum is non-magnetic, so uh, is there a gauge that can do both of those? Right. There are. Uh, a lot of the equipment manufacturers have taken the guesswork out of that process. Mm -hmm. They have made equipment that measures both ferrous and non-ferrous substrates uh, interchangeably, pretty much, without much thought behind the uh, end user. Alcometer. 456 FNF, ferrous, non-ferrous, automatic recognition, dual, 0 to 60 mils, 0 to 1500 microns, Defelsco Positector 6000 FN, ferrous, non-ferrous, automatic recognition, dual, 0 to 60 mils, 0 to 1500 microns, BYK, BICO test, ferrous, non-ferrous, automatic recognition, dual, 0 to 79 mils, 0 to 2,000 microns. Fisher, MMS, ferrous, non-ferrous, automatic recognition, dual, 0 to 100 mils, ferrous, 0 to 80 mils, non-ferrous.
So let's say, for example, that I work in the pipeline industry mm -hmm. and I need to measure you know, pretty thick coatings up to maybe 100 mils or so. Uh, and I also need to be able to access the underside of the pipe to make sure I'm getting you know, right. my thickness there. Is there a gauge that will help me there? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, the equipment manufacturers have taken a lot of these situations into account. They do uh, design probes that take coating thickness measurements uh, in excess of 100 mils and they also have cable probe attachments that you can reach up underneath the uh, pipe. Alcometer 456 straight ferrous cable probe scale 2 ferrous metals non-magnetic coatings 0 to 200 mils 0 to 5 millimeters. Defelsco pause detector 6000 FTS ferrous metals non-magnetic coatings 0 to 250 mils, 0 to 6 millimeters. Another circumstance, let's say that I have a duplex system, mm -hmm. which means I'm going to put a liquid paint over top of a, a galvanized surface. Right. Um, now, typically, the gauge will recognize the galvanize as a paint layer mm -hmm. uh, because it's primarily zinc. So how do I know what is the paint layer and what's the galvanized layer? Right, exactly. The manufacturers, in fact, do call a lot of their equipment duplex probes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's not just going to give you the total thickness measurement, but they can break down each layer individually. Mm -hmm. Fisher FMP10 duplex, coatings up to 20 mils, zinc up to 6 mils. Tefelsco pause detector 6000 FNDS duplex, total coating system up to 60 mils. Now let's say I'm a contractor and I'm putting on a fireproofing, an intumescent mm -hmm. coating, and they go on, as you know, very thick, right. maybe upwards of 500 mils or so. Is there a gauge that will measure that thick? Yes, uh, they do make equipment to measure thickness uh, readings that high, and they're made specifically, if this makes sense, for that sweet spot, meaning you're not going to want to use these thicker probes for 10 to 20 mil applications. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are made, and we can go over that as well. Alcometer 456, scale 3, 0 to 500 mils, 0 to 13 millimeters. Defelsco pause detector 6000 FKS, 0 to 500 mils, 0 to 13 millimeters. Fisher FMP10 with FA30 probe, 0 to 780 mils, 0 to 20 millimeters. So let's say that we do work in the marine industry mm -hmm. and uh, you know a lot of times they're interested in getting a lot more data than what SSPCPA2 right. says you have to take. You know they, they want, may want thousands of readings on the inside of a ballast tank or something like that uh, and it would be you know time prohibitive to do the place and remove probe. Right. So, you know, a lot of them want to use scanning probes. Is that technology available? Yes, in fact, a few of the manufacturers have really put an emphasis on that over the last few years. Mm -hmm. uh, they make very durable probe tips that you can drag across the coating uh, in large quantities that will not wear out. So yes, that technology is definitely available. Okay, because I understand SSPCPA2 now has an Appendix 10 which deals with the scanning probes and the continuous readout devices. Um, I was just curious whether or not those were widely available or whether just you know, maybe a single manufacturer has that. No, definitely up. multiple manufacturers, okay. so okay. we'll go over Good. that as well. Alcometer 456 Model T top ultra scan probe. Numerous probes up to 200 mils, quick replaceable probe cap to limit wear, 140 plus readings per minute. The Felsco pause detector 6000 advanced memory body with any probe. Numerous probes up to 500 mils, durable probe tips, 180 plus readings per minute. Now, occasionally, uh, 
there's a need to measure coating thickness along an edge. Mm -hmm. You know, for years we were told stay away from edges. You know, you want to be at least an inch back from the edge. But you know, there are some specifications now that want to determine what is the thickness on that edge. Is that technology available? Yes, and most of the manufacturers are going to classify those gauges or probes uh, by the designation of micro probe. Okay. Uh, it's for lower mill readings, and they are um, smaller in area to read the edges specifically. Okay. The Felsco Pause Detector 6000 F0S Micro Probe, 0 to 45 mils, micro probe designed for small parts or to be used close to edges, Alcometer 456 Mini 90 degree probe. 0 to 60 mils, ideal for measuring beam edges in hard to reach areas, Fisher FMP10 FGA06H probe, 0 to 27.5 mils, suited for small test areas and surfaces with a pronounced curve. So it almost sounds like you need to identify what your specific application is and then select the gauge based on that specific application or perhaps look at you know gauges that have exchangeable probes mm -hmm. where you can buy one gauge and multiple probes that, that can be exchanged in and out of the gauge. Right and there are so many uh, varying uh, circumstances out there in the field as we all know um, you know it's not a one-size-fits-all type of application anymore. Um, you know, the technology is there to make, uh, you know, a typical inspector's life easier. So that's what we try to do. It's, it's like buying a car. You know, you're, you're going to buy the vehicle that you need to get the job done. So. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Great. Well, appreciate your time uh, today and uh, a lot of good information about dry film thickness gauge selection and the, the um, amount of technology that's available to us for measuring coating thickness. Yeah, thank you, Bill. Um, you know, we've gone over a few select scenarios here. You know, if you watch this video and we didn't go across your, your specific situations, don't worry. You know, please reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us an email and we can help you find the right equipment for your project.